What's up, everybody? Welcome to another exciting episode of Real Comic Book Talk. We're here at Tidewater Con for day number two, talking with the amazing Bob McLeod, co-creator of the New Mutants. And Mr. McLeod, just want to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Sure. You know, you're a busy guy, busy con. Sure. Uh, number one question is, uh, where did you get the idea and the imagery of the New Mutant concept? Well, Chris Claremont, the writer, uh, had some ideas in his mind before they ever brought me on board for the comic. He and the editor had talked about a younger group of X-Men, and they wanted to make it a little more multicultural, right. uh, multinational. Um, so they had some ideas, and then Chris and I talked about it and kind of went over some of those, rejected some, kept some. And uh, once I got the, the characters that we were going to go with, I just kind of thought, what are, what are my impressions of someone like that? So like Cannonball was a Kentucky coal miner, right. and I just thought, you know, that seems like a, like a hillbilly type of character, right. uh, uneducated, <laughs> yeah. and kind of maybe socially awkward, down in the mines all day. Yeah. <laughs> so, a lot, you know, lot of social skills. Yeah, so I just went with what my gut feelings were about him, and in retrospect, maybe too stereotypical. But we were kind of uh, under get deadline pressure, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to give it a, you know, a whole lot of thought, but I'm fairly happy with them. All right. So my other question is, have you based any of the new mutants, like their designs, on people you have met throughout your you know, lifetime, or travels? Not really. Um, just uh, made them up to things I thought would be fun to draw. You know, didn't uh, base them on anybody. I have other characters before, but that's a little tougher every time you go to draw that character right. to try to get that likeness down, so it's easier just to make something up out of your head. So who's your favorite New Mutant to draw, or, the, or your favorite New Mutant power? Cannonball has always been my favorite. Um, you know, I like all of them. I like Danny a lot, um, Danny Moonstar, so I like Rain. You know, it's not like I have a favorite, but Cannonball is probably, um, if, if I have to pick one, Go with. Uh, not a bad choice at all. <laughs> From one of mine. <laughs> I kind of like what they've done with him, so it's been cool. So I have a question. This is, I know a young man of yourself, so you don't have to go back that far in your mind. But what, what inspired you to become an artist, and what made you want to do this for a living? When I was five years old, I did a little cartoon drawing that my mom praised me for. Um, said, wow, that's better than I could do. She can't draw, so that's yeah. no big deal. <laughs> But that, you know, got me uh, feeling good about myself and my drawing, and I decided when I was five years old I wanted to be a cartoonist of some kind. So I just always had that in the back of my mind, well, that's what I'm going to be when I grow up as an artist. You know, never kind of varied from that. Amazing goal. I haven't stuck with anything since I was five. <laughs> Not one thing. So this is the our very last question, because I know you got to get back to it. Have you, uh, have you had any crazy with any other comic books outside of the New Mutants? And what, if you did, what, what would be your favorite? If I had any what with other comic books? Like, have you created any other com oh. uh, com uh, characters in other comics? No, I've been mainly just focusing on drawing and uh, haven't really uh, done anything in the comic books. Mm -hmm. I do I do have a, a children's alphabet book that I created all these superheroes for, uh, one for each letter of the alphabet, yeah. superhero ABC. <laughs> And, um, I had to get that a, for my new son. Had a great time doing that, and it's been selling well. So um, I think I did a good job on that and really enjoyed it. Thank. You. Well, thank you for your time. In time, Mr. McLeod, and we'll see you later on. Okay. I'll see you after that day because I'm not leaving anytime soon. All right. All nice right. to meet you. Next time, guys. Peace.